You're just going to chill while I do this? That's okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Ben, and this is Ralphie, and I'm an official Lens creator here to talk to you about Lens Studio. So what is Lens Studio? Well, if you've ever seen some of those crazy community Snapchat lenses available, every single one of them was created using Lens Studio. Now, Lens Studio is a lot of things, but above all else, it's a tool that enables you to bring your ideas into augmented reality. And it's free to use and available on Mac or PC, so if you want to download it, go to lensstudio.snapchat.com slash download. And once you get it downloaded and installed, go ahead and open it up and let's get started. Let's open up a new project and familiarize ourselves with the different aspects of Lens Studio. So the first thing you'll notice is that it's separated by multiple panels. The first one you might notice is on the right called the preview panel. And this is where you'll be able to see the changes you make to the lens in real time. You can switch the person or the action of the preview by clicking above. This is useful if you want to test certain inputs like a user opening their mouth or raising their eyebrows or even test the effect on multiple people. So if you'd like to try the effect yourself, you can click webcam mode which will activate your computer camera instead. If you want to test your lens on different devices, you can click without simulation below the preview. This will open up multiple different devices with varying aspect ratios. Importing your assets into your project can be done in the resources panel. Here you'll be able to view all the files you are using for the current project. If you click on some of the resources, it'll give you more information about the assets you imported to your project, such as size, type, and a small preview. On the top left, you'll see the Objects panel. Now, this is where you'll add all of your effects and your resources to your project. For example, if you click Add New, Face Stretch, you will see a face stretch object appear under the camera. Once you create the face stretch, you will also see a face with some dots and lines appear in the scene panel. And this is where you can edit properties for some of your objects. If you click and drag some of the dots in the scene panel, you'll see the changes happen in the preview panel. This is also where you can edit your position, scale, and rotation for 2D and 3D objects. The inspector panel is where you will modify properties and settings on some of your components. In the face stretch we added, you'll see that we can adjust its intensity in the inspector panel. This is also where you can modify scripts. Well, thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you'll get notifications whenever new videos are posted.